Uh, welcome back to my channel. This is Ingenious Giacomo. Today I'm working on a fountain uh, with a leak issue, actually several leaks. I think they use silicone in the bottom. That's not really good. So when it's full of water, that's why it's empty now. Uh, the, um, there is always some kind of water coming through the joints. Oh, it is, sadly, this one is one of those one in pieces. It's not a single piece. It would be almost impossible. Some are, by the way. This one is not in, uh, on, on the joints. There is a water, water coming through. So I'm going to clean it up first. Probably use some kind of uh, very harsh cleaner. And then it's not leaking from the back. To my knowledge, just the front, this part here. So let me start cleaning it and scraping it off. And then we see what I can do. I will probably use an epoxy, uh, epoxy bond on the joints and see what happened there. There is several products, I mean, so many sometimes, but I like to keep the integrity, you know, technically I could coat it with the blue stuff, like a pool, um, but uh, then I don't think the owner wants me to do that. He wants to keep the integrity of it, from my knowledge, to, to my knowledge, and uh, so let me work on it. And today we are, like I said, we are fixing a leak on a fountain, uh, several leaks, by the way, it's leaking pretty much everywhere. Little bit, but it's kind of annoying, every kind of couple of days has to be, fill up so you kind of got an idea where it's coming from but since water travel i technically doing the whole um, perimeter of it and let's get started i'm gonna use so far a scraper a little metal brush and remove all the old silicone they put and silicone technically is not really good for underground epoxy will last uh, but silicone and many concrete products i was thinking to use the sika the, for the concrete um, cracks, but it's not good on chlorinated environments. They, they claim absolutely not good with chlorine. Epoxy, so far, it looks like it's the only option I have where I don't really need to coat the old thing. Okay, let's get started. So anyway, um, I'm here cleaning the fountain. Technically, like I say, the key of any good project like this is not as much what you're gonna be using. I mean, of course, I mean, some stuff is worse than other. Like I said, I think an epoxy might be the better one and a clear one. So I won't really, although you're gonna have water in it, but you still see the bottom. Uh, I'm going to um, scrape off all the old stuff. As you can see, I'm using some better homemade tools. <laughs> like uh, this from the dollar three. I think a dollar 25 I pay, yeah, that's, uh, so three, that's an old knife sometime. And then of course I'm gonna use a brush and then some kind of chemical to do a very deep cleaning. So you can see here, all this stuff is silicone. They put silicone because it looks like, now I'm looking at it, there was more than a joint. There is uh, these pieces here, the side pieces, like that where you can see the joint. And then the bottom, there is a little curved piece I just did a part of it, as you can see, the scraping is moving along, so I'm using this spatula to go like this. It's just physical work, really. Combination with a knife, trying to remove as much of the old silicone as I can. Then I'm using this brush, a metal brush, to do the final. And then I'm gonna use a chemical to prepare it. Uh, I'm undecided which one, that's gonna be the part two. I will work on the part two tomorrow, but you can see a lot of stuff is coming out. Technically, the old surface needs to be very clean for the epoxy to work well. I cannot really have a bunch of loose stuff like this. See what came out already. That's, that's a lot of stuff. And uh, some people, they get lazy, they just put it on top of it. It's just a short term fix. Eventually, the stuff behind it will crack and peel because also the epoxy creates a lot of heat. When curing, it bonds extremely well to anything who's underneath and the bonding process will actually make it worse for the stuff you didn't remove. So it will actually start to peel off even faster. I'm moving along with the um, removal, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff here, you know, so that's what I removed so far. So I'm going through with a spatula, scraping. So the issue thing is mainly down here. Removing as much as I can. 
and then I'm gonna use my vacuum there to clean it up. I'm almost done with the scraping, you know, I'm gonna go all around the edges to make sure that um, finish. I'm almost done, I'm gonna touch up the one too, just to make sure. Okay, now it's time to remove all the um, debris, you know, from the silicone I remove. I'm gonna use my vacuum there, and then uh, that's it, I'm ready for the epoxy. There is pretty much nothing, just uh, gonna use a rag, uh, maybe something alcohol, to just uh, remove them whatever there is no grease it's just it's just water so let me start with that let me use the vacuum first and clean up anyway i use my vacuum and i clean up all the um, dried silicone i remove i brushed it off uh, so the fountain is ready for the epoxy treatment i gonna show you the epoxy in a moment i did clean also with a cleaning solution um alcohol all the so evaporates all my connection there all my uh you know technically the joints where the epoxy will go i'm finally getting ready to put the epoxy on my fountain i'm gonna use a rag microfiber with um alcohol that's what i'm using right now to do the final cleanup as you can see since yesterday i guess the wind blew some dirt yeah, so i'm gonna clean it all up uh, mainly where I'm gonna put the epoxy around the edges so just alcohol rubbing alcohol and uh, microfiber and wipe up whatever dirt is there and prep it for my epoxy okay now to patch the fountain I will use the JB clear weld as a four ounce each of those so then it is a eight um, fluid ounce combined you know, I do remind you, if you buy the smaller one of epoxy, it's only le less than an ounce, 0 0.87 one ounce. So, and they're like six, seven dollars. That's twenty dollars a Lowe's, and I think it's the same Home Depot. So you get like my eight times as much for like uh, three times the price. You know, so by far is a better value. And to mix them, I'm gonna use a disposable container. I mean, they're not disposable, but they're a little thicker. Can I use anything to flimsy like a paper cup? Those are from the dollar tree. I got five for like a dollar twenty-five, I think. So dollar twenty-five, and I'm using those uh, tongue depressor. Mm, um, they're very good for mixing those, but you can use a stick or anything. You know, it's uh, something disposable. Once the epoxy get on, it's very hard to be able to use it again. And I'm gonna mix a little quantities at a time because epoxy one mix it goes bad very quickly uh, it takes five minutes after so you don't want to do too much because then you're gonna waste it you got to see um technically you start with a little bit and you see how long it takes to apply that and then you can adjust your mixing uh, time uh, the amount of time you use to place the product on the fountain i am on my third time mixing and to keep an eye I always go by the side, try to keep the containers you can see are the same level. So I do like a, a quarter of a container each time and uh, mixing it and applying it. And so far I did almost like one third of the fountain. I just uh, put it where the water possibly came out. Uh, so far I use half of the bottles. Like I said, they were four ounces each of the Chevy Wild. Uh, and like I said, I'm using the back of the little line as an indicator of my mixing ratio. I have those containers, so far I use two. Every so often I change to a new one because the residue from the epoxy, I need to get a new stick. Pretty sure I have another one or a couple of those tongue depressors, so far they work the best to mix it and apply it. And with half of this, pretty much two ounces of product, I did over half of my fountain. Uh, it's a pretty good um, coating where the leak was supposed to be, you see like there. Uh, all the joints have been coated. I didn't have any problem with the back part because it's so thick, but the ear was a problem. So, so far we are almost done. I'm over half with um, a two and two, four hours of product. So it was an eight hours total and uh, it's about 10 ten dollars of material uh, oh the fountain is finished uh i coated pretty much all the um, bottom part 
as you can see it and um the epoxy is already dry like say five minutes curing times so, oh wow amazing uh five minutes um i think 24 hours by um actually for in five minutes anyway it's too hard to work and i made a mistake to mix a little too much toward the end and uh pretty much that was it i couldn't use it so i wasted like maybe 15 20 percent of the old product because i got too confident and so i strongly recommend mix a little at a time anyway you see it's a pretty nice bond they claim is water resistant within few hours uh that's like i said there's jb weld um and it's still a very good value considering the size and i show you here what happened uh so you see there's my containers this one i got greedy and i mixed too much and within four to five minutes from the moment i mix it that was it lucky i had a little enough left on the containers you know i do remind you until you mix it it's still pretty neutral the moment you mix it is, is the end of it you know a few minutes and i go so this one was just a waste uh, and uh, i would say like my god it's like a brick it's like amazing all this stuff gets so that's it i'm done with the fountain now the next step is gonna be fill it up and wait uh, to see if any leak happens but pretty confident uh, should not be the case and i uh, move on to other projects thank you again for watching this is ingenious giacomo and this is how to repair a fountain using uh, jb weld um, the clear setting the quick setting epoxy i would have wished that there was uh, the same size on a slower setting like 30 minutes 20 minutes i didn't need the five minutes said it's all they had so thus the limited time to work the product before it gets too hard so the, the necess necessity to work a little at a time and of course keep an eye on the ratio i was pretty good with that keeping uh, the same amount every time you mix it of each of the two ingredients the fountain is ready to be filled up uh, it's been approximately an hour i was wrong it's not 24 hours it's only one hour to be fully cured five minutes to be applied and an hour to be cured completely wow pretty amazing okay so it's gonna fill it up and we'll see if it's holding on thank you again for watching please thumbs up and subscribe if you can and that's um ingenious giacomo ciao